intersection multiplication. An intersection is where two things cross. The point where two roads cross is a common sort of intersection. You can also use intersections to help you solve multiplication problems. You just need some colored pencils and a piece of paper. One color will represent tens and the other color will represent ones. I'm going to use blue for tens and orange for ones. Now I just need some numbers to multiply. Let's try 35 and 46. 35 is made up of three tens and five ones. I'll draw it like this. Here are my three tens in blue. 10, 20, 30. Now I'm going to draw my five ones in orange. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Did you notice how all my lines were vertical? Next, I'll represent 46 using horizontal lines. I already have my 35 drawn, and I'm going to draw 46 on top of it using my horizontal lines. So 46 is made up of four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's where the intersections come in. Everywhere an orange line crosses an orange line is worth one times one. That's because each orange line is worth one. So I'm going to mark where my orange lines cross my orange lines. Here's one right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I have 30 ones. Everywhere a blue line crosses a blue line is worth 10 times 10. Since 10 times 10 equals 100, each totally blue intersection is worth 100. So in this case, I've got blue crossing blue right here. That's worth 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, or 1000, 1100, 1200. So my blue intersections are worth 1,200 or 1,200. Finally, everywhere a blue line crosses an orange line, the intersection is worth 10. That's because a blue line is worth 10 and an orange line is worth 1, and 1 times 10 equals 10. So let me mark those off. I've got 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. But that's not all. I have some over on the other side too. There's another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. So if you remember, I had in this section 30 ones, and in this section I had 12 hundreds, or 1,200. Now I'm just going to add up all the ones, tens, and hundreds I've created. So in the case of 35 times 46, I had 1,200 plus 200 plus 180 plus 30. So if I add it all up, I get 1,000.
3610. So the answer to 35 times 46 is 1610. Let's try another one, but faster this time, and all on one page so you can see it all happening together. 14 times 23. 14 has one ten and four ones. 23 has two tens and three ones. All right, I'm going to start by counting up my ones. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I'm going to count up my hundreds. That's where the blue crosses the blue, or 10 times 10. 100, 200. So I've got 200 over here. Now I'm going to count up my tens, which are the blues, times the orange. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And over here I've got a few more, 10, 20, 30. So, if I add everything up, 200 plus 80 is 280. 280 plus 30 is 310. 310 plus 12 is 322. So the answer to 14 times 23 is 300. 22. You can also multiply numbers in the hundreds by adding a third color. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to add green to represent my hundreds. So with 234, I have two hundreds, I have three tens, and I have four ones. All right, and then with 53, I have five tens. and I have three ones. Okay, so the process is similar. I'm going to add up all my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to count up my hundreds, which are where the blue to the, times the blue happen. So there's ten, tw whoops, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, or 1000, 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500. I'm going to count up my tens. So that's where blue crosses orange. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. And I've got a couple more over here. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. All right. Now, I have a couple more sections. I have the greens right here, crossing the orange, and a green is worth 100, and an orange is worth 1. So each one of those is equal to 100 times 1, or 100. So here's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Another new section I've created because of the orange lines has the green lines crossing the blue lines. Greens are worth 100, and blues are worth 10, and 100 times 10 is worth 1,000. So these are each going to be worth 1,000. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. So I just have to add everything up. I get 12,402. So the answer to 234 times 53 is 12,402. That's all.